Okay, so today um, I'm going to try to repair this alternator. I am completely out of alternators that work. I have three tractors and none of my alternators work. Well, one of them I don't know if it works, to be honest with you, because I really haven't tested it or anything like that. But this one here is an old alternator I pulled out of, I think, the loader. And, um, and one of the studs was broken off, the actual positive stud. So today I'm going to try to replace the stud and see if it works. Um, I know it goes from this contact here um, to, uh, to the external. Of course, I can't, have it, I can't have it short to the shell of the alternator, so I'm going to have to... Uh, I'll use some electrical tape to insulate the bolt. Um, the original, I don't know what that looked like, um, but it must have had some kind of insulator on it or the whole thing wouldn't have, wouldn't have worked. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of electrical tape on it and see if that's good enough. Of course I need something to... I think this will work. I do not know the state of this alternator. I bought the loader and I ended up replacing this shortly after I bought it, so I never really tested this alternator. There we go. Okay, so what we see here is we have the electrical tape that's isolating it from this uh, from the chassis. Then we have this plastic washer I'm going to put over it. That's to so I can tighten down a bolt on top of it. There we go. Now let's see if this works. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down. Not, I'm not tightening it too tight because I don't want to break anything. I only got one chance. I only got one plastic insulator. There we go. So that might, hopefully that'll work. If not, that bolt, <laughs> that bolt might not be long enough. Um. Okay, so now that I got that replaced, I'm just going to check to make sure I don't, it's not grounded to anything. So I'm just gonna take meter, check continuity between, um, between the battery terminal and the grounding terminal. And we're getting high meg, whatever it is, 28, 19 meg, whatever. So that's, that verifies that it's not shorted to the shell. And here we go right to the shell, eight meg. Yeah, so we're good. Hopefully this works. We'll see. Um, I've never done this before, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. One thing I did do with this one. So this is a Delco Remy um, alternator. This is actually a very common alternator um, on a lot of things. Is what I did is I put a little nail in here and through, and it holds the brushes into place, so I can put it, so I can reassemble it correct uh, easier. Matter of fact, actually, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be able to reassemble it. I can almost guarantee you that. So I'm going to go ahead and just grease it a little bit, grease that barren down there, and uh, put it back together. And then we will test it and see if it works. this one back together just like that 
And then I'll put the bolts back in. Okay, there we go. It still spins. I'm gonna pull these brush, this nail that's gonna release the brushes. Hopefully that's good. So we're gonna test this in a minute. We gotta get set up to do that. Um, so one thing <clears throat> I kinda wished I had was a better, uh, a better stud for this, but hopefully this works. I think it will. Okay, so we're gonna test the alternator. We just put the stud on. Um, so what I have here is I have um, uh, both the um, R and F, or F1, F2, F plus, F minus uh, terminals uh, powered by 12 volts from the battery, of course. The battery is Okay, it's measuring 12.20 volts, um, so it does need to charge. But um, so now I'm gonna, and I have uh, my 12 volts reading on the stud we just replaced, and now I'm gonna put the battery voltage on there. I mean the uh, the ground on the grounding lug, and we're measuring about 0.3. So it measures about two volts, which is low. So I got 12.36. I don't think this alternator is any good. Okay, nope, it's good. We got 13.13. So I guess this alternator is pretty good. Um, this is the, I don't really know any of the history of this alternator is it, it came on my loader. My loader, of course, all the electronics was stripped out of it when I got it, so um, all the wires were cut. So I didn't really even have a way, means of testing the alternator, but um, with our little setup here, we verified that the alternator is at least outputting. Um, so yeah, I saved myself a few bucks. Um, if this was helpful, uh, to anybody please leave a like subscribe i will try to post videos more regularly um and uh leave a comment i might uh give me some advice on what i should post okay bye